When we talk about peated whiskey, we often use the term PPM, or phenol parts per million. It's a term that refers to how peated barley is before it is fermented and distilled. Adam Hannett, the head distiller of Brooklady, is here to tell us why PPM is just a number. Well, it is exactly that. Uh, PPM, as you, as you rightly say, is a way of measuring how much smoke uh, is in the grain before you make whiskey, so that a distiller who wants a consistent style uh, will always have the same product. Because, you know, when you peat malt, um, you cannot guarantee how much smoke goes in there, so it varies. So then the maltster's job is to combine peated and unpeated to make it uh, a consistent uh, level. And they measure that as a PPM, the phenol content. So, for example, when we talk about Port Charlotte, for that style, we always have a PPM of 40 parts per million in the malt. But that doesn't necessarily mean that when we come to drink the whiskies, the different expressions we have, that the phenol content will be 40 ppm. The phenols are volatile, so through the distillation, uh, they will be, a distillation is just purification. We cleanse out some of these um, flavors, we cleanse out some of these phenols. And um, so in the spirit, it's lower. Uh, uh, through the fermentation, it will also lose some. Uh, as you fill it into cask and as you age it, uh, along with the angel share that evaporates, um, we also lose phenols. So depending on the age of a whiskey, depending on the cask type, um, depending on the distillation run, you're going to get different phenol levels. But that, for us, is all part of the story of what makes a whiskey, you know, and how that happens. Um, so with these two Port Charlottes, each of them is peated, the, the barley's peated to 40 yeah, ppm, yeah. but they do taste quite different in the end. Can you walk me through a little bit? We, we have the MRC01 mm -hmm. here. Um, why this one is going to taste so different from the 10 year old. So there's a, in, in terms of phenols, there's a, a lot of different reasons. So like you say, we start with the same malt, the same PPM. Um, through the distillation, the spirits are going to be roughly uh, the same in terms of PPM uh, because we do have the same style, the same distillation for both. But when that spirit goes into different types of casks, then the active or how active the cask is will kind of work on those phenols as well. Um, so if we look at this MRC, and you see the, the color, this is seven years in the cask. And you look at the color on that, and it's very, very rich. The cask is very active. It's giving a lot of fruit, a lot of flavor to the cask, uh, to the whiskey. And, and this you, was a red wine cask, And this right? was a red wine cask, yeah, yeah. So when you nose that, you get lots of fruit. You get a lot of, um, you know, that kind of, you get a lot from the oak, a lot of toasted oak in there. And then at the back, you're getting a little bit of peat. But it's just a little bit of peat. That's not really coming through too much. Um, if we were to taste the 10-year-old, you know, you've got uh, a different balance of peat because we're using different casks that are affecting that differently. And, um, you know, all these little things that we do, all these little factors that involve the making of whiskey, that will affect the phenol content. So, um, in the final spirit, you'll get a difference uh, depending on how long you age it. As I say, that sort of being a 10-year-old, it's longer to lose those phenols to, you know, to the atmosphere, basically. So. Older whiskies, you know, that are heavily peated, you know, if we were to release an 18-year-old Port Charlotte, there would be even less peat available in the, in the spirit. But that's okay because it just tells a story of that maturation, it tells a story of how that whiskey's come to be. So you cannot approach a whiskey knowing that it's 40 ppm, for example, and expect something um, in terms of ppm. You have to take into consideration the whole thing. So, say, the cask, uh, the, the maturation uh, location, uh, the age of the spirit. That's the story of a whiskey, and the whiskies that we make, we can tell you the whole story. You know, this this cask uh, exploration, this is a part of what we'll do with the Port Charlotte releases going forward. It's about cask exploration. It's about seeing how that 40 ppm spirit works in different types of casks. So this MRC uh, will be followed up by another expression and another and another, and we'll see how that spirit holds against an Amarone or a Sautern or an Oloroso, and we'll see a different level of peat in each one but that's okay, because we're learning, we're exploring, and we're trying new things. And it's a lot of fun for us who get to drink it. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, cheers, thank cheers. you so much. <laughs>